Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi, and um, back again, once again. How y'all doing today? Hey, real quick, right quick, next quick. <laughs> I wanted to check out this new game that's coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC called Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker, and this game looks like Xenoverse. And by Xenoverse, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Xenoverse. The game that has a sequel and a lot of people are having a lot of fun with it from what I hear. And this is something that I don't really see a lot of people saying. I did see the trailer. I want to watch it again. It's been like a few days, so I'm it's going to be somewhat fresh to me. So yes, this is a reaction, but at the same time, I'm going to probably be analyzing it a little bit more. So let's get right to it. Okay, the Will of Fire has been passed on. Well, of course, Naruto 2 Boruto, that's what it would assume. Been unleashed by a new war. Huh. Okay. Naruto 2 Boruto project. New graphic style. Yeah, I can tell. That's dope. Run as you wish. Alright. Kakai Sensei. Online battle start. Yeah. Now, this seems pretty interesting. Four man teams. Dynamic action using ninjutsu. <laughs> Yo. That's sick. Freedom to run. Yeah, very nice. Woo! So they got ultimates, it looks like. Okay, online high-speed ninja action. Alright, so they got ultimates, and they got ultimates on top of their ultimates. So in case you ran out of ultimates, you got your ultimates. Basically, since that was the first trailer, there wasn't really too much revealed outside of throwing little teases of like what to expect. It looks like the characters have a lot of their ninjutsu and other types of jutsu look like they're present in the game. However, I will have one little gripe with this. Being that it's the first trailer and the title insinuates that this is a cross game between Naruto and Boruto's stories, you would expect for them to at least show maybe one or two or a couple of the Boruto line of characters, but we have no indication that they're even in the game. I mean, obviously they are going to be considering that Boruto is now the thing. We've only seen four members of Akatsuki. We've only seen four members of Team 7, all members of Team 7. I feel like that's kind of weird that they did not show at least Boruto's squad with maybe even Naruto as a Hokage as a fourth character I will say the game looks a lot of fun I feel like this game looks a lot more doable as far as the whole four-man squad goes against another four-man squad so a total of eight players I mean comparing it to Xenoverse for Dragon Ball I mean Dragon Ball is crazy you got guys going all over underwater in the air flying around you got huge key blasts getting thrown around everyone's doing all this crazy stuff I mean Granted, Naruto and Boruto, they do have their craziness, but I don't feel like it's going to be as crazy, if that makes sense. I mean, this kind of looks a lot more tamed, and to me, I feel like I will have a lot more fun playing this game. So basically, Shinobi Striker is essentially Naruto and Boruto's answer to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And this, you can really, you can pretty much call it Naruto Boruto Xenoverse. What are you guys looking forward to in this game? Me, personally, I just hope that they include a lot of the characters that I would expect to see. So far, I already saw Tachi, so that's that's one thing. Saw Sasuke. I really hope we get, you know, some alternate versions of said characters. Maybe some characters have power-ups. I hope that there might be some kind of unique team jutsus. And I just hope that overall, it's just playable in the sense that it works. And that online is smooth and everything uh, along those terms are great. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter and Discord, especially on Discord. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys are expecting, what you would like to see. And I'll see you guys next time.